All right, so. Hello, I'm Shalay, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to wrap your breasts <laughs> with a sarong. Um, so just get any type of sarong, lapa, lava, cloth, <laughs> whatever you wanna call it, whatever you use. Um, and let's see, I normally fold it in half like this, yeah, um, and then I take the, the open edge and I use that on top. You can do whatever feels most comfortable for you. Uh, I'm wearing a shirt right now for obvious reasons, um, but normally I'm not. I just do this bare-chested right on my breasts. Um, I know some women do it over a shirt if you're more comfortable with that. This is up to you and your comfort level. Um, so the first one I can show you, um, I actually fold it again into fours and you can fold this however will fit you most comfortably, right? Like if that's in thirds and fourths like I've just done, um, you know, whatever is going to work for you. And so I place it on my breasts, make sure it's under them, right? And then just pull, tighten. This is so strange with a shirt on. I don't normally do this with a shirt, um, but I normally like tuck this under my breasts. Um, just pull tight and oops. And then tie in the back and you can make it super tight right if you want to just go as tight as you can um, and yeah, and that feels pretty great pretty easy simple right um, let's see and I was asked to do this video right as kind of a, a bra alternative um, especially for bigger chested women um, after you have kids when you're breastfeeding and your breasts become just really sensitive and bras we know are really the best actually um, for support <laughs> if that's what you're looking for. Um, another one I like to do is tying on the side and you have a little bit more control or you can more easily, I guess, tighten it this way. Um, it will be a little lopsided. <laughs> So you you probably will have to adjust it a little. Um, so that's one that's one way I do it sometimes as well in a jiffy or you can even do it from the back to the front like this. pretty pretty comfortable again you can um, let's see another way I do it is I'll have it folded in fourths right and then open it in the front actually um, to create more you know bigger fabric for my breasts like this pull it around so that it can cover my whole, my whole breast. Oops. See, this is so different with a shirt on. <laughs> it's just slipping and sliding everywhere. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you can see. That, and this will take some practice, some getting used to. I've been doing this um, since I started having kids, so I've just kind of come up with a bunch of different things <laughs> for myself. 
Um, you can even, if you feel comfortable and are able to, you can even tie behind your neck. Um, I'm not usually able to do that. Um, this usually takes up most of the rest of the fabric to tie, but if you're smaller, you may be able to tie it around your neck. Um, see how that goes. What else can you do? Um, you can even scrunch it in the middle. Um, Nope. What am I thinking of? Ah, the twist. That's what I do. Where I actually fold it back in half. Oops. Okay, so fold it back in half and twist it. There you go. You have the opposite. Right, so like the bottom, the top edge is on the bottom on one side, and then it's reversed on the, on the other. You twist it like this, and this also gives you a nice, a nice coverage over your breasts. This works better if you're a little bigger. Um, me as well, I know obviously I don't have the biggest <laughs> breasts, but they're ample. Um, so this is one that I, I like as well that's very comfortable um, and is usually lasts, you know, stays a little longer. Um, and then you just tie it in the back. There we go. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's one way that I like to do it. Um, sarongs are my favorite pregnancy tool, honestly. They're so um, versatile and easy to use for labor um, as well, or any just pregnancy discomfort. Um, when I'm pregnant, I like to wrap my belly with it. I would put it really tight, right, like under my belly, um, right on the pubic bone and then use the rest of it right to like cover the right this would cover the rest of my belly um if i was pregnant um and then you can tie it right really tightly or what i did during labor let me that down is i actually would just pull i would just pull and squeeze on myself um, when I was having contractions and that provided a really nice really nice counter pressure uh, during labor or just when I needed the support because when you do this right what happens is it it lifts up uh, the muscles your belly and it also is squeezing on your hips and hitting pressure points back here um, because of where it's crossing right um, and you can pull down. I did this during labor. I would pull down or up, um, right? Or you can, you can even do it from the side like this. Um, that might feel good as well. Um, yeah, so lots of different techniques. I encourage you to play around with it and see what feels most comfortable for you. Like I said, the most, the easiest one is just to wrap and go <laughs> like this that's that's um you know that's the easiest simplest method so yeah thanks thanks for joining me